All right, guys. Today we are working on my sister's air condition. All right, the guy came out last week. Look at it. They got charged two hundred fifty dollars just to tell him the fuel blow. So he put a new fuel in it, and then he left. He was running, but people need to understand. If the fuel blow, you have to figure out what's causing the fuel to blow. But I didn't think. <laughs> Alright, these are semantic. If I can't show what it is, I'm gonna have to read that diagram. Alright, let me test the pin and then we should get 120 L1 and calm. Okay, 120. Alright, the second. No, the, the drill. I'm not touching that without <laughs> without the drill. I'm not getting electrocuted. Okay. So guys, it's confirmed that this is went out. Okay, we're gonna find out why it caused the fuel to blow up constantly. My conclusion would be the the contact outside because it rather so much. It's gonna cause a tick, 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 on and off, on and off constantly. So we know the power, we don't have power to this road. Transformers out. Did you work today? Uh -huh. All right. I think, I think that you see the transformer down there? Yeah, can you bring, it looks just like this. Where's it at? Uh, I think uh, when you walk in the door, I think I left it on the floor, you did it? Or, or on your desk, on your uh, kitchen table. You see it? It's on your kitchen table? Kitchen table? Yeah, it's on the glass. On the glass? Yeah, the kitchen table, you see it? I'm looking at it right now. Oh, that's the dining room table. Oh. Well, I don't know why I call it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the small one. The silver one? Yeah, the one with a bunch of Y coming out. <laughs> okay, that is a transformer. All right, this one is a different way. You can do a 240 volt or you can do 110. So we use this to be 110. Uh, damn, I got to go make I gotta go make the head for this. All right, let me put it in. We need a connector for this. It's in my trunk. I gotta go get it. Oh, you wanna get it for me? What's it look like? It's just a head. Uh, it's a box with a clip like this, but it's got a different connector like like this, like this. It's in the. It's in the trunk. Yeah, it's in the trunk of the car on the. But don't don't slam the the trunk, okay? Because it won't lock. That's a different way. Of, like okay. it's just close it down. That's it. Okay guys, we can put the new transformer in. This one is different. This one, is, you can run it as 110 volt or you can do 100, 240 volt. But we're gonna do this one as 110 volt. This is do different. Oh man. Alright, where's my screw? When you work in a confined area like this, you tend to missing stuff. And I just miss a freaking screw. Oh well. Alright, that's where I put it. I just had it. Crazy me. Unless we just use this big screw. Hopefully it work. Yep, it worked. Okay. All right. So we need to do a quantum diagram here. White to black. We use 110. So we use this. And orange and red is a 240. So we're not using that. So it, it, it up here is 100. It's 110 system. All right, guys. I'm just gonna cut this one off just for be safe so things doesn't swing around, get electrocuted. Safety, as for me, is always priority. 
All right, I'm just gonna tug this up, round up, make it look nice. Because we do get a lot of vibration in here when the fan's running. All right. So we can make a new head for this one. And we'll put this one in. Okay, as we come up here, right here we said neutral. We just put it in here as a neutral. See that? And over here it said L1, usually means hot. It's L2, so you have L1, L2, it means it's 240 volt. But this L1 in neutral, you see it's just 110 volt system. Excuse my singing, guys. When you have a kid, you tend to sing this kind of song once in the full moon. Alright, when you install this thing, always put the neutral in first. Reason why, if it's hot, if you touch this, you touch the neutral, what difference? This one's already hooked up, you'll get a little shock. I mean, enough to kill you or enough to just scare the heck out of you? Okay. And then we're going to bring this one up to L1. Alright. And we're going to test to see we have 24 volts. Coming out this day, we should get 24 volt. Uh. Okay, as you can see, guys, we got 27.6 volt. Done deal. And this was so right down here was common SC okay all right okay. yeah okay now we got power in the system but I think I think this switch is broken that's just mm -hmm. for the door isn't it yeah what's it do, what's it doing to that well when you open the door usually it if the, the system shuts up prevent all this suck all this air in here like you know like your carbon monoxide or thing I got you yeah all right it's on zero see so it's on right I'm, it's not on on it's just no the AC's on the switch turn it on like turn the AC completely on yeah like it's coming off okay what is zero? There we go. Okay, turn it off. Alright, we got power. Okay guys, I put the camera back in. I'm just going to tie this. I don't have a zip tie. Do you have any? No. So what's the zero for? The zero, it just means it's no, uh, no error call. Ah, uh, I got you. Yeah. System, but different system have different unique. This is rim. Uh, Maytag, I mean, uh, my other one is going to say F. F something. It depends on the system. It, if it's four, it's going to give you a different call. And you want to see the code? It's going to be right here. This fake code, you see? C means compressor. Some oh, gotcha. compressor. <laughs> it just tell you every code here. You just read that. 
If the, so what's broke downstairs? Right, I'll show you. But here's a transformer, no power. But the reason to find out why the power keep going up, it could be a lot of things. Number one, it could be rattling, like the the shortage out in the... I do have electrical tape. Do I have electrical tape? Go check. It's in the in the chunk of the car. in the red box. I would have used tip and tie with this. I didn't bring zip tie. I didn't know I need it. All right, that was my brother-in-law. We can do it right. Safety is my priority. I would tie zip tie. I mean, with this, but the this thing's not gonna be that tight. It's gonna vibrate. Eventually, it's gonna get loose. Didn't bring any zip ties, so my best solution we're gonna just electrical tip it in. All right, so the guy came out charge two hundred fifty dollars. Told him that the fuel blew up. It works for like eight hours, and then it went out again. So today I'm here. Hey, like I said, I'm not a certified AC or mechanic, but I do it all. That's why everybody call me the Asian MacGyver. Alright guys, like I said, the key is to never stop learning. You know, it doesn't matter how old you are, just, just keep learning. There we go. I knew I had it. That's why I also leave everything in that box in the back trunk of my car. Because I walk everybody's always call me. I need help. Emergency. Yeah. Yep. One time, one called me. My sleeves white in the middle of the day, night. She said there was a meltdown in the rent, rent, the rent the house and they can't get anybody out. Man, I went there, dude. Like, literally, the, the house could have caught on fire. Whoever did the electric work for them cut corner. You know how they put two wires in one breaker and a 20 amp breaker, but you're using a 12 a gauge wire with a 14 gauge wire mix match. But they don't understand how the current move, how the walk. So, thank God they didn't burn down the house. A whole bunch of the wire burn up, dude. And I had to go find a different wire, different area that burn up. One was in, in the switch box, one was on in the alley. That one was like somebody would connect all the wires together, but did not put it inside the, inside the metal box casing to protect them from caught on fire. Knobs go to the left. Like this? Yeah, left. Okay. This one's fly inside. Yeah. You need the system, huh? Sorry, guys. Yep, I installed the system, guys. Well, my sister and brother call. They want almost twenty thousand now to install unit. So I ordered this online for, I think three thousand, huh? Thirty eight hundred. Yeah, with thirty eight hundred, it took us a whole day to install it. All right, that's it. we're gonna go outside and go check the outside. What's going on out there? All right, of course. Okay, we turn the AC on, but we're gonna test to see make sure we have a bad contact. The reason I unplugged it, just in case this one's brown out, it's causing the twice month to burn out. All right, we're definitely not getting no click. Did this shut off? Yeah. This that this just came Yeah, this one ground out. This this would cause a problem. Turn it off. You don't have to, I don't need it. I don't need to turn it off. I can just do without it. Alright, we just turn this one outside off. Okay guys, safety is 240 volt. Take this baby out. Oh lord. Uh you can tell this is old style system with a few. Alright. Eventually, this need to be replaced. Too old, outdated. All right. All right. Since we don't have any, but we gotta make. Oh, guys. I always say, I said safety's priority. We always gonna check, make sure we don't have any power coming through here. <laughs> Cause if it does, my wife's gonna be crying in my film. All right, guys. We have no 240 volt line. Uh, so we have to remove all this, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys offline because I can't do it one hand. All right, basically, we just remove all the screw, take the wire out, 
put a new contact in. This is what we call a one pole contract uh, contact guy. I mean the powers continue with this two, but there's no power come through this one. So that's what they call one pole contact. If you have two pole, you can have two of these with the two reset button. Well, you can be have one button of this, but it's all connected into a contactor in there. So, so we're gonna remove this. Okay, guys, for you guys who doesn't understand the wiring diagram, it's how it works. Okay, before you take it out, always take a picture. Two comes in here, 20 volt. You got L1 and L2. Here's which label L3 and L1. Okay. T stands for terminal one and terminal two, three, but this one have T1, T3. All right, as you can see, this is your 24 volt coming from your control panel from the board. All right, in the compressor, you have a hum, you have calm, and you have fan. Brown is always gonna be fan. All right, that goes straight to your fan. It's a Basically, it's the start capacitor, the start of the motor. All right, as you can see, we have COM coming in, COM2. This one goes to the compressor to juice up the compressor. All right, and before you walk in the compressor, always discharge the, the capacitor because sometimes they still have a spark. It'll give you a light times. All right, when you do this, you discharge it. That way you don't get killed. All right, so we're gonna take it out. Yeah, it's on. It's on. Oh, really? All right, we juice it up and everything runs good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you turn off and you put it back in. Okay, guy. My brother-in-law said the guy called him that it will, it will cost him five hundred fifty dollars to come up to do this. So I said, hold on, let me look at it first. So, this contact probably made $50. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, guys, everything is done. Complete. Save my brother-in-law $550. <laughs> <laughs>